Hi guys, it's Kimberly back with the Illumin Guru and I have your Twin Flame and Divine Love Energy update for the week of October, let's see, 8th. And I'm going to get to that in just a moment. A really powerful reading here and messages coming through. I Just a reminder, on Tuesday, October 10th, I still have slots available in my Honoring Your Sacred Feminine workshop. It is an hour and a half long workshop. We're talking about and discussing how to harness your divine feminine power and how to honor your sacred feminine. Um, going to be really great. Some of the material from my other previous divine feminine workshops is being readapted to create uh, a little bit of a different conversation, a little bit of a different format. So whether or not you've taken place in the classes before, um, this is a great opportunity to um you know, get a hold of some of that material and ask questions. And um, a lot of times in my harnessing the divine power or even in private session, um, the question that comes up is how do I get in my power? How do I honor my secret feminine? What does this mean? We're going to explore some of the uh, mythology of it and the history of it and what it means as connected to your divinity and also how do you harness this now in your current life and what this all looks like for you personally. So you'll have an opportunity to ask questions and all of that. So if you want to sign up, you can do so, do so on the IlluminGuru.com. Click on classes and workshops. It's $25 per participant. Um, there are spots left and it's at 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time on Tuesday, October 10th. Also, on the booking page on the website, I added at the top, there's a link to a time zone converter. Remember, when you book a session with me, all times are in Eastern Standard Time or Eastern Daylight Time, New York Time. So if you're booking from overseas or you're booking from a different time zone, you've got to do the conversion so that you know that you're booking the right time slot. There's been some confusion over the past week, and I just want to make sure that we're clear, we've got the appointment in the books, and we're good so that we both show up at the right time. Um, and uh, yeah, so look forward to working with you. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. And um, yeah, so let's get to this week's energy report. So for the feminine, I want to talk to the feminine first. We have the Wheel of Fortune is coming up, okay? And I feel like this is, representative of a lot of things in her life right now. So it's reminding her that she's the creator of her own experience. Okay. So you are the creator of your own experience. I want you to remember that. Really think about that. The things that are happening right now in the dynamic that feel very out of your control, um, they're happening whenever the Wheel of Fortune card presents itself and we're, and we're in a, a, a time of challenge, whether it's Things that we don't know about or things that are lurking under the surface or things being removed from our lives, things or people being removed from our lives or things that are just changing that we feel like very out of our control. Um, remember, especially when the Wheel of Fortune comes in, that this is about you are being uplifted for your highest good and you have to sort of trust all those changes and all of that. Um, also that the bad times or whatever challenges that you're facing are, they're creating a contrast for you to birth new desires and some of the contrasts that are happening in the dynamic right now are, there is a lot of dissatisfaction with the way she, the feminine is being treated. And I think it's a really positive thing because it's causing the divine feminine to go back and align with her integrity. And that's one of the reasons why I feel like because of this theme in the collective right now, it's a really good time to take part in that workshop. I unknowingly set it up for October 10th. I didn't know that we would be in this wave of I mean, pretty much every feminine that I've worked with in the past week or so is struggling with this or going through this where She's really about to get in line with her boundaries. She's really about to take a stand. She's really about to get more in her truth. It's like she can no longer accept the treatment that she has put up with or tolerated. And it's not about the twin flame abusing her or, um, <clears throat> or, 
or anyone in her life not treating her right as much as it is about her tolerating it, not having proper boundaries, not being in alignment with her integrity. Um, and so she's being asked to line up with that. And it may hurt right now. It may be a struggle right now to do that um, for her. But it's almost like she has no other choice because the truth is so glaringly obvious that she's also getting the feeling of the good things to come, what she desires. And feminine, you're being asked to, whether you write it on paper or you imagine it in your mind, you're being asked to really get clear about how you deserve to be treated, what you desire from a relationship and from relationships in general, and you're being asked to line up with it. Remember, there's nothing that can be mirrored for you, and there's no bad treatment that can hurt you um, that isn't already present in your energetic field. So the whatever is being mirrored back from, to you from your twin flame or anyone else who you feel like is mistreating you in your life, you are being asked to look inside and say, okay, where is this wound that is open that I'm vibrating from? Where is, what is that? For most of us, it, and this is coming up underneath the feminine, it's the unrequited love. It's this childhood wound. It's an inner child wound. It's, uh, it's abandonment. It's uh, not having enough love or support from our parental figures and you're being asked to heal that at a greater level. You are being called feminine to get over that hump now. And it involves the conscious understanding of where your wounds are coming from. And it involves also uh, a practical approach to you're going to have to talk yourself through it. And you're going to have to remember that this is fear. It's, it's an old belief and it's a fear. And that the surrendering, the letting go, is what is going to bring new opportunities your way and help you form what you desire and invite it into your life and create a better future and create a better outcome. Um, <clears throat> crowning above the feminine is Melchizedek's coming in with the spiritual law of attraction. And he's reminding us that it's, it's okay to let go. It's okay to let a situation fall apart, or destruct, or um, even if you feel like you're walking away or you've got to get over someone, it's not really that. It's that the timelines are shifting and the situation is morphing. <clears throat> and as you align with your boundaries, and your integrity, what you deserve, <clears throat> the universe is going to rise up to meet you, okay? So in will come a new cast of characters, in will come new friendships, in will come better aligned friendships and relationships, um, in might come a new karmic partner, or in might come your twin flame because you're, 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 uh, you're, Elevating the connection by getting in alignment, by getting in your power. The feminine has been, in, in many cases, at the masculine's mercy. And she doesn't want to be. She, she wants to stand in her own power, but not in a resistant way. Not in a um, harsh or masculine way. She's learning that her power is quiet strength. And her power is still and composed and resolved. And it's only this abandonment and fear of, of unrequited love. It's only that that has kept her on shaky ground. It's only that that has kept her from feeling resolved, from getting in her power, from aligning with all of her integrity and what she desires. Now is the time to line up with that because there is no other choice. The truth is so glaringly obvious for you right now. And the truth is this. It sounds very much like I can no longer accept this treatment. I can no longer, um, you know, I, I desire a deeper commitment. I desire a reciprocal partnership. I desire to be treated, you know, fairly and consistently. I desire to be loved in the way, in the capacity in which 
I have to give and keep, keep aligning with that. Keep reminding yourself what's at the core of your values and what you desire and keep going back to that inner wound and releasing the fear and releasing the old beliefs because that's the only thing that's keeping you apart from your truth and creating the new future. You, you're being called to go full steam ahead, feminine. So if there is fear, you're going to have to get over that hump so you can go sailing in the ocean, off. You're going to go out the gates. You're, you're, you're taken off. And it feels very much like getting unstuck from some of the things and cycles and patterns that we've just been caught in. And no doubt that if it's a twin flame dynamic, you are being served this up on a golden platter. It, you may feel the detest towards your twin, or you may hate your twin for this, you may hate your karmic partner, whatever it is, but all of these lessons are blessings. All of these um, challenges are going to uplift you to a higher path and you are actually breaking your old molds right your old molds right now and your old patterns and it's a huge huge transformation and uh, it's one that's going to come with a feeling of upheaval and I have the uh, shared energy underneath is the tower this is about shaking the foundation okay so as the feminine gets clear about uh, you know, whether she decides to, you know, take a pause or go just work on herself for a while. If there's something coming up under the surface, some information she didn't know about that's being shown to us, which could definitely happen. It feels like there's a shakeup going on. Um, this is the time to understand that when the foundation gets shook, it always gives way to, the destruction will give way to new creation, to, to, to new life, to better circumstances. It's the upheaval is necessary. And the masculine, you may feel like this is going to come out of nowhere. Um, you may feel threatened by the feminine getting in her power, or um, you may feel as though you don't understand why this dynamic is shifting, but it is necessary. It's necessary for you, masculine, to open your heart space. If the feminine doesn't shift, the masculine isn't going to open. And still the masculine's work is his own, but it's all part of this beautiful dance of this greater connection. Um, so coming up for the shared energy is the king of pentacles. Okay. And for the masculine, it's the uh, seven of wands. And when we see the seven of wands, we know the masculine is like trying to push against something like he's not quite able to, he's resisting the feminine. First of all, that's one, which we know because most of you who are watching this video are going to go, Oh yeah. And he's also pushing against himself. He's pushing against, um, opening up. Okay. Cause the night is coming up underneath him. And this is about heart armor, protecting our heart. And again, this is old hurts, old fears, old wounds, abandonment, heartache. It's kept him closed off. And he is really at this point where he is resisting um, her and resisting change and resisting looking at himself currently because the feminine's holding up some mirrors right now and he doesn't really want to look at them because it's more comfortable to stay like this at the present time for him. So, um, yeah, powerful. This is reminding us for the shared energy that, uh, you know, above this, shaky foundation is a new foundation that we can create one that is grounded one that creates i think i think we're creating new um 
ways of doing things, and then we're getting rooted in them. So this card usually signifies, like, don't change the order. Like, we're going to stay in the same order. But I really feel like we are changing the order, but then we're getting very grounded and rooted in it. And above the twins is the Knight of Wands. And whenever we see the Knight of Wands, it's always about the reactivity, the knee-jerk reactions, the impulsiveness, the hastiness. Like, this is not a time to make hasty decisions. This is a time to, if we're making decisions, um, we're moving from our truth. And also to remember that we are only going to elevate by following these changes. Like, I feel like this is also telling us, like, the universe is orchestrating things. The impulses that you feel internally, the um, ideas that are coming into your mind, the way information is coming up. If there's something you didn't know under the surface that's shaking things up, if there's um, some new desire within you, if there's some truth that you cannot help but see, you're being asked to just follow the authenticity. And if the universe is restructuring things for you, you've got to go with it. It's you going, pushing against it, whether it's the feminine or masculine, it's you pushing against it. It's you trying to react or stop it or change it. That is going to create the, the, the roadblock. It's going to create the a greater challenge. So they're saying, go with it, go with the changes, go with the ideas, the impulses, trust what's coming to you right now. Trust that and trust that you're going to be led to a new foundation and one that is stronger and one that you can build from and create everything that you desire from. And it's funny because there are two, two, the advice cards that come up for both the feminine and masculine. For the masculine, it's the heart chakra. No coincidence here, right? And for the feminine, it's the sacral chakra. And the sacral chakra is not just about the feminine honoring her womb and her femininity. It's about getting rid of toxicities. And she is done with some of the toxic cycles in her life. She's ready to get in alignment with more truth and integrity, and this is what this is about. And this could mean purifying your diet, drinking more water, getting rid of toxic relationships, and really, really stepping in line with your integrity in the connection of the twin flames because this is going to end the toxic cycles. Even if it means stepping away, that's what you must do at this time. You have to put yourself first, feminine. And you're being called to do that. You are number one. You are absolutely number one. And masculine, you're being called to look at where you're resisting. Where you're resisting love. Where you're resisting opportunity. Where you're resisting yourself. Where you're resisting your own healing. It's time to open now. There will be great loss for the masculine. There will be regrets if he cannot start to open his heart. And that will come in the ensuing months through November and December. This is a crucial time for the masculine to open. Um, but he, many of the mass, they're not going to do it on command. So if you are a masculine who identifies with the masculine energy and you're watching this video the message is go deep within what is the truth in your heart and can you face some of these truths and admit them to yourself and begin to open and relax rather than resist because it's the resistant energy that will create opportunities that pass you by it's the resistant energy that will um Send the twin flame in another direction. It's the resistant energy that will create confusion and muck. It's the resistant energy that um, will leave you in regret. No doubt, everything is in line with your highest good. So if you find yourself in regret in a few months, it's so that you can learn these lessons. It's so that you that will prod you to open. But for those of you who are awakened enough and who are watching the video, you're being asked to open your heart. You're also being asked to listen to your intuition. 
And for the masculine, when your heart chakra is closed off, you're not listening to your intuition. You're not um, in touch with you're in, you know, the masculine is very much in his log logical head and his ego. And that ego is putting up a wall, putting up resistance. So remember that. Um, bottom of the deck for the twins is the Ace of Wands. This is a new beginning. This is about Uh, doing things differently and 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 starting a new and a new way of being and it's coming through from all of this resistance and change that's what blossoms um underneath the past life deck is the wisdom card so we're being reminded that although some of these lessons are hard and it feels like we've got just new information coming in and um, we're being asked to find our truth and it feels like it hurts or it's hard or we don't want to face it. We're being reminded that all of this is not only it's building our life experience and building our wisdom, but it's also we already have the inner knowing. This is like age old wisdom. It's, you know, these things you you really do know you really do know your your soul is wise your soul is guiding you your soul knows and even if you feel like why did I allow why was I stupid why did I allow myself to go down that path why did I have my blinders on um like why why did I allow myself to go through all of that upheaval well Remember, your soul wanted you to. You, you. This is, is for your highest good and for your evolution, and uh, it's purposeful. So don't re don't regret that. Don't look back at it in haste. You weren't ready to see things as truthfully as you are seeing them now. You weren't ready to come into your power until now. So remember that. And then um, below the deck of the um, Ascended Masters cards is the artistic expression. Paul the Venetian, and he's reminding us to uh, keep the creation energy going. Um, I feel like it's around love, so if you're feeling sad, feminine, it's time to make something. Make something, bake something, create something, doesn't matter. Um, creative expression is important for the masculine. I feel like this is uh, music. Um, he's doing stuff with music. He's writing, he's singing, he's listening to it. It's the one place where I feel like he does touch place with his, or he touches base with his um, heart, with his heart center. What's the, the truth in his heart, the feelings, the emotions. And um, so keep listening to the music. And for the feminine too, that's important as well. Um, I'm going to pull a sacred feminine card for the, for the uh, collective energy. Okay, and so again, we're getting reminded of wisdom. It's Grandmother Spider. I'm going to read you um, what her message is, okay? Okay, so Grandmother Spider is the weaver, and her message is wisdom in weaving the web of your own life. This is so in line with this reading. Through your life experiences, up until this moment, you have acquired wisdom and knowledge. Grandmother Spider is asking you to witness all that you have achieved and learned and to make careful study plans for the next path you will travel or allow the universe to carry you. <laughs> through wisdom gained, oh uh, yeah, through wisdom gained, you will not need to make the same mistakes again. Tap into the wisdom and begin to weave your life the way you wish to, it to be experienced. Remember, this is about exactly the same messages here. Um, it is now time to stop being an unconscious creator and instead to consciously create and manifest that which you desire with wisdom and mindfulness. Okay? That's what we said. Wisdom. Mindfulness. Conscious co-creation. Conscious creation. Spiritual law of attraction. Trusting and knowing that these changes 
are really good, really positive. Um, you don't need to repeat old mistakes. This is about shaking up the foundation so that we finally break the cycles, right? The cycles of fear and, um, and old beliefs that have held us back. So Grandmother Spider is also reminding us that it, um, we are moving into the stage of the wise elder, the wise one, the crone, or uh, that you are being called upon to offer your wisdom to an other. So this is also about this type of experience here that you're gaining in the harnessing your power or opening your heart. You'll be able to share it in time with others and teach it. Grandmother Spider might also be asking that you take a higher perspective on a specific issue and see the bigger picture and web as it is weaved over time. So that's very hard for us to do. Um, I love that point, though, because I think it is the honing in, the attachment on the 3D dynamic in the twin flame connection. It's the attachment on the he did this, she did that. I always say it's the he said, she said. I think I have an old video about the he said, she said. And it's really about, can you take a bird's eye view and look at your role in all of this? And how, what are the patterns that you've been playing out? I, I, I keep getting shown. I was shown this in a reading yesterday. It looks like squirrels and mice and chipmunks. It, it, for the feminine, it feels like that energy. Like she's been scurrying and trying to do and trying to make things happen. And... It's like you're being asked to like get rid of all that frenetic energy, all of the energy that you've been putting forth to try to control and uh, try to give more and where you're putting yourself last and you're trying to do, 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 and you're being asked to just be and just let it be and just be in alignment with you and putting you first because everything else will take shape around that. I promise you that and the universe will rise up to meet you. So I'm going to leave you with that message. I think that message was slightly more geared towards the feminine, but I know that that's the bigger audience that I delivered to. And I hope that that was helpful for you. If any of you are struggling with any of these um, energies right now because they are powerful and intense. This Aries full moon brought up a lot of stuff. It's bringing up a lot. People are intense. Energies are intense. Everything's intensified right now. Um, but I assure you, it's a blessing. It's a blessing what is happening. And uh, I can help you work through it if you want to work in private sessions. So don't forget, you can check out those sessions on my website, theboomandguru.com. And until next week, I'll see you guys soon. And I hope you have a wonderful, blessed, beautiful week. I'll talk to you later. Bye.